Welcome back. I currently am holding a lightsaber, and for anybody that's played LEGO Fortnite recently, you'll know that the Star Wars update is kind of dead at this point. Today, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be saying goodbye to LEGO Fortnite Star Wars, and there's actually been an ongoing discussion that I'll talk about in a little bit here, but there are still some people that believe that we can actually get a part two to the LEGO Fortnite Star Wars update. I'm going to be telling you why I think that could be possible, but more importantly, why I think that we're not going to be getting that. So yeah, in today's video we're talking about all things lego fortnite star wars speculating a little bit on what we can maybe expect from a part two although like i said i don't think we're getting one before we go on our adventure though i did have to clear out my inventory because i am planning on going over to my star wars village for the last time there's a very specific reason that i'm doing this today and i'll tell you guys about that in a moment but before we do that i need to grab biomass from all of my villagers Okay, and if you didn't know, I've been grinding out biomass so I can get a bunch of batteries for the airplane you saw at the beginning of the video, but that's not too important. Went ahead and stowed away our biomass for now, and it's time to get over to our LEGO Star Wars Village. And we have arrived to our Rebel Outpost, our level 10 Star Wars Village, and before I say anything, let me go ahead and just put on the record. This was probably the best and most expansive update we've ever received in LEGO Fortnite. I said it since day one of the update, but yeah, this was an incredible journey. The fact that we were basically able to build a village up from scratch and get directed on how to do so the introduction of all of these one-of-a-kind villagers has also been a very welcome surprise and you know these guys are actually amazing along with all of that we also got the lego adventure pass for lego star wars and that gave us a ton of builds some of which you are seeing right in front of us here not to mention if i open my mini map and go outwards you'll see that we literally got an entire brand new island that is completely custom themed with custom caves custom npcs and so much more so yeah, before I talk about any of the downsides slash reasons why we're saying goodbye to LEGO Star Wars, I need to put that on the record because I need to give this update its love because, you know, it definitely deserves it. And honestly, the reason I came over here was not only to, you know, go ahead and highlight the update, but also to come over here to the storage room and grab a lot of these items. Because like I said, we're saying goodbye to LEGO Star Wars. We're not saying hello to it. So I don't know the next time I'll be back here because we did happen to accumulate quite a bit of good items over the course of our Star Wars journey. And that's not to mention, all of the lightsabers that I don't even have room in my inventory for at the moment. I believe we collected every single lightsaber on this island, but that's besides the point. We're talking about something a little more important today, and that is why we are saying goodbye to this update. Now, there's a reason I'm even talking about this in the first place. There has been some speculation and some rumors that I don't think hold a lot of value as to why we could potentially be getting a part two of this update, and I am going to be coming out and taking the side of saying no. I just think there's probably a 1% chance that we get a second update for lego star wars now don't get me wrong if we had a second update then i would be over the moon and i would be very happy to be proven wrong but the reason we're having this discussion is because as a lot of you probably know on the roadmap it said that there was a two month span where we'd be playing lego fortnite star wars as the main update in the game and for that reason a lot of people assumed that maybe we'd be getting a part two because you know the update was big and i already said that earlier but i finished everything on the first day by the first week i had every lightsaber collection and I also had the entire village torn down and rebuilt with my own custom builds. So many people, including myself, were thinking, hey, maybe we actually are going to get some more content at the beginning of June. But it's a week into June at this point, and I just don't see that coming anymore. And the first reason is probably the most obvious reason. Look at the LEGO Fortnite social channels. There unfortunately just hasn't even been as much as a hint to signify that we might be getting a second part of the update. And actually, the most recent tweet by LEGO Fortnite as of the time I'm recording this is a screenshot from LEGO Star Wars. And and looking deeper into the screenshot and zooming around it you'll see that there's honestly nothing besides sky standing in the wreckage of the star destroyer and that's nothing new by this point if they were going to release a second part of the update you would think that they would actually tease some sort of new content but that's like i said content that's already been in the game on top of that many of you guys probably already knew this but the star wars update was not only for lego fortnite it was also for fortnite battle royale which you know the battle royale is in a new season now and that means all of these star wars items from the update were long removed from battle royale which is another sign that you know we're probably not getting anything because it should be in battle royale if they plan on still keeping it in lego now i'm a tiny bit disappointed because in my opinion i think that there was a lot more that they could have done with this update in terms of the live events and you know other things that they could have added in terms of content and of course the star destroyer wreckage is a really cool little point of interest that will be in our world forever and is gonna be a reminder of this update there were also npcs that were dedicated to our villages but outside of that there weren't a 
whole lot of interesting NPCs around our villages. You know, I was thinking we would have maybe gotten something like a Baby Yoda or an R2-D2 or a C-3PO or, you know, some of those OG Star Wars characters. We didn't get any of that. I mean, the strongest boss in the entire update has to be the AWR Trooper. And in my experience with him, he almost just deleted himself by jumping into the lava when I fought him. Yeah, not the uh, not the strongest uh, enemy that we could have fought. But, you know, that's all we got. Again, like I said, this update was huge and it was very expansive and something new for LEGO Fortnite. So I'm not knocking it completely. These are, of course, just my opinions. And you guys are more than welcome to disagree with them. All of that just goes to say for a part two of the LEGO Star Wars update, I would love to see, you know, better bosses if that ever happens. But I honestly think we're going to have to wait until next year to see another Star Wars update. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to hop on the record and let you guys know what I thought about the LEGO Star Wars update, as well as what we could maybe expect. And like I said, I don't think we can expect much. There's honestly not much to even go off the record for for this video because it's literally radio silence on the LEGO Fortnite social channels. I mean, they're not talking about the update at all. And I think that's enough of a reason to believe that we're not getting a next part. In my opinion, their minds are looking forward to new content and new updates rather than focusing on, you know, the second half of an update that doesn't really even exist anymore. Again, I do hope I'm wrong because this update was a lot of fun and they definitely did introduce a lot of cool and unique little features. Even if they weren't big features, like right in front of us here, we can ice skate now. That was not in here before the Lego Star Wars update. And just them adding those little things gives me a lot of hope for what they can do in the future updates. And I thought I got all the lightsabers, but maybe not. I'm gonna actually just use the bed glitch to get past this wall here. And we're gonna go through this last cave because there's a chance that I actually missed a lightsaber. Let's see if we've got one more up our sleeve. Oh, and never mind. I just realized there's a bed behind this one. So we definitely were already here. Also, another thing is they added geysers in caves during this update, which was kind of crazy as well. Again, just a testament to what they could probably do in future updates. And I'm looking forward to those future updates. But for this cave and this update, I think that it's basically done. No lightsaber here, unfortunately. It looks like I already collected it. So we can go ahead and get out of here. But like I said, that is just my opinion on all of the Star Wars Lego Fortnite updates and what could potentially come in the future. So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with the fact that you think we're not going to get an update or do you think that they might drop something in our heads here soon? Either way, I'll be looking forward to, you know, maybe a different update that'll come later this month because I have a feeling that they're going to drop something big on us, but we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, though, we're going to be saying goodbye to our Lego Star Wars Village. And one last thing, I need to see if we got any pizzas because I'm running low at home and it doesn't even look like we do. So yeah, for the time being, we're just going to bid farewell to this place. And man, there were a lot of memories here. And like we all know, the Star Wars Island does never disappear. So I'll always be able to visit this and it'll bring back some good memories of these times. I hope that you guys enjoyed all of the content that we put out over the course of this update as well. It was, yeah, like I said, one of the most fun journeys we've been on. And for that reason, I cannot wait to see all of the future updates that this game puts out. I think the updates are only going to get better and we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm headed back home with all of my goodies. So I'll go ahead and keep this one shorter today. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I will catch you all tomorrow with another video. It's an insane build project that you guys are not going to want to miss. So make sure you guys subscribe to notifications on because I did not say that at the beginning of the video. I wonder if I come over to the shore enough if it'll stop raining and it looks like it is. So we'll end the video here. Thank you so, so much for watching all the way until the end. It's Vinny Boy Kaz and I will catch y'all later. Peace.